All right, it is time to analyze a max red lost day. Uh, you, you know, you've got to learn from your winners. You've got to learn from your losers. You can learn a lot more from your losers than you can from your winners. And we're going to prove that here tonight. Make sure you are following us over here on our social media. Join our Discord right here if you want to learn how we earn. And let's get right into that trading here this evening. Don't forget, trading is risky. But if trading is for you, this might also be the place for you. Let's get into our reactions window here tonight. So I am going through on a max lost day. Here's... How it goes down. First of all, you can already tell when there are this many notes into a uh, almost two hour session, too many trades going on here, but it is the first day of the year. And I'm going to talk about one of the very first things that I missed out on today. What was that very first thing? Number one, tomorrow. Whoops, I typed a two. That's probably, that might be wrong too. Uh, FOMC is tomorrow. Okay, now, what's what are our FOMC rules? Right, FOMC. I should be trading towards the golden ropes. What did I? What was my problem with that? I didn't know. Okay, I D I D K I D K. Right? I didn't know. Okay. Again, just because it was FOMC tomorrow doesn't necessarily mean that that's going to be a bad day. If I had been aware that it was, we could take some change towards our approach on the higher time frames and take that into account. Big scenario that i didn't take account i didn't even look at the news before i got in now mind you today i had a lot of stuff going on i only traded in the uh afternoon i did uh, about three trades in the lunch hour it was up went came in completely overconfident i'd been on calls with curtis earlier that day i've been on the conversations with our video editor team to kind of start into the new year but i was darned and determined to get in there and get into a live session with everybody today so a lot of things kind of personally playing into it um, but we're going to go through every single trade there. I feel like I had a third one that I had missed. Um, just events, okay, going on. Being aware. I think these are three main things on the highest time frame that we want to talk about. And let's get right into the trades here that we had some issues with. Again, we're, we're up doing well. Our bots did quite well during the day. You're going to see that. Full auto basically absolutely destroyed me today, which is usually the opposite. Usually I do quite well and the bots don't do as well. I'm going to pause the music on this. No music. And let's get right into these because there is some music in the background on some of these videos. Let's crank it up and go into trade number one. And uh, let me talk about analysis first. The reason I tell you guys you need to be recording your trades and not just me. I want to show you guys one of the other folks that I've told you guys before. I'm going to open this in a new tab here. I want you guys to go and check out this video. Go to my video section on this one. And I uh, did a reactions video to one of the top traders out here, Lance. Go check him out. You've probably seen him interviewed other places, but... Uh, you know, sometimes I skip on these trader interviews, but this is one you want to see. He agrees with me in a lot of things. And I'm not just telling you, oh, go, go check this guy out because he agrees with me. But I'm saying sometimes you need to hear some of the stuff that I'm saying from somebody else who's got the experience, who's seen a lot of traders, who's been around uh, for a long time. This guy's won way more awards than I have. I've won four trading competitions. This guy had like, I don't know, 10 trophies on his shelf from trader of the year at his organization at SMB Capital. So go listen to that one. And he talks about recording your trades. This is where it comes down. What I'm talking about right now. Recording the trades. Now, mind you, I have an advantage because I just, you know, live stream. So mine's already recorded, but that's really no excuse. Today's age in 2023, this is one of the things you should put down on your list for 2023 is get OBS. If you don't have it, just go get it. Okay. It's free. Okay. Go download it. Just type in download OBS. What is that? Okay. This is a open broadcast software. It is free. It is what every YouTube streamer is using, Twitch streamer. They're all using some version of this. It is free. You should have it, period. And it is very easy to set up a scene and record. So you basically sit, create one scene, put it on your screen, and just sit there and record. Okay, just press record while you're trading, and then come back, and you'll be able to do reviews like I'm doing here. And we'll do a whole other video on how to use OBS uh, more effectively um, in probably at the end of the week here. Let's go into these trades for me right now. Uh, like you should be any any time you have, particularly on a red day, you need to come back and learn, figure out what you can do better, figure out where things went wrong, all that kind of stuff. Let's do my own personal analysis right now. I'm going to play this at high speed. So let's go again. I'm going against. So first trade here, I can see pretty, pretty standard play here. I love it. I've got an enigma set up there. It's green. What's the problem though? Problem number one, I can already see where am I up here? Red, right? So first trade. Problem number one, I'm coming in, I'm seeing this one. Again, I'm, I had talked at the beginning of the stream, walked through a whole lot of stuff there so I could you know, give excuse after excuse if I wanted. 
wanting to, there is some additional pressure that comes into live streaming. I don't recommend that to anybody. If you're really wanting to be effective in your trading, don't live stream it. I would rather you record it. Maybe go through some scenarios afterwards, but if you're live streaming, you will feel obligated to speak and talk and believe it or not, that takes a lot of CPU processing on your brain to be doing that. And here is my first play. Totally botch this because I'm in on the long side, even though I had just been talking about MACV filter, we want to go to the short side. Also down below, what's my favorable direction on the day? If you zoom in right here, you'll know, of course it's a, I don't think you'd be able to see that there. It's a little fuzzy, but this is shorts favorable on the day. So two things that I should not be taking this trade, but I take it to the long side anyway. Third problem is I am way behind on this entry. If I'm going to get in on this entry, while I'm up here, my entry should be closer to here. And I should already be hitting target one right there off of those little double taps. And my targets are well up above it, as you can see. So there's all my problems with trade one. Let's the watch it. Here, so I need to um, keep my... Keep okay, my now I do get a little bit more going. as it comes back down. That's There's no problem with that. Awesome, nice little ad, but it should have been an ad as it comes back in and we see that play. But... No good on trade number one. Try to be a superhero. Yikes! Got a got a red alpha here. Got to look to close here instantly. Any moment we break below that cross, it's over. Yep. Stopping out here right below the cross. Yep. Didn't get anything out of that. In fact, take a little bit of a loser. Gonna go ahead and close the rest of there. I was way behind on that entry. Um, had a little bit too much fun out here with everybody. There. All right. So trade number one, wreckage. I mean, pretty pretty easy to see. Um, you know, still would have, even if I put my stops all the way back down behind here, still would, you know, basically it's a bigger loss. So right off the bat, number one, easy one to have avoided, but, uh, I didn't. All right. So hopefully that, that was a little bit faster, but it wasn't. And on this separate. entry, um, again, I'm going against Higher speed. the sellers here. So I need to, um, keep my, keep my targets nice and tight Oops. here. Not try That's the same here. one. Close that one. All right. Stops let's go to the next here one. Here behind my red cross. There's target one. Okay, so got short here, trying to figure, oh, I know why. So up top, we finally, we had an Enigma. The bots had it right here. We had the red Enigma. We had our red Alpha Omega, and we're in the direction of the MACV Ultimate. And so basically all that, great. I made up for it, did a good job on getting back the other direction, and that was a good trade. But I can tell I didn't size up big enough on that secondary, because here comes trade number two of the day. Didn't size up enough because I'm still not back up at 500 where I should have been which could have been an easy way to have done that if I had sized appropriately or adjusted my targets appropriately because in the direction of these, I should be able to take bigger plays. So I can push out target one. I did not do that. Again, another area, very simply, I could have pushed out target one and made this a bigger play and I would have been up over probably around the $600 mark again. So that trade, eh, okay. You know, one one loser, one winner, but not enough to have made up for it like I should have. All right, so let's see how we do in this trade. I see greens showing up. I see multiple greens. The MACV is still on the red side. I do see um, a, another green coming up up top. A lot of reasons why I see a potential for an up move. Let's see how we play out with this one. Almost there, broken, and wow, went too Okay, so I end up going short again. So at this point, I have deduced that, okay, that was the wrong direction from before because I had done that. So I had um, gone, okay, I, I, I figured this out. No worries. We want to get short. And, oh, I remember what it was. Somewhere in there, I missed this um, double cross, double move. Hold on. There is a, there's a trade we're missing here. Let me go back. A double cross, double move was in here. One of these we missed. That was an important trade. It's three, trade four, maybe this one. We try rule short DCDM this one. Okay. Love the dips. Here it comes double DCDM. cross, double move. Okay. Now this is a good play. Good play here. All right. So I'm happy with my trade number three. I'm getting in double cross, double move in the direction of the MACV to short, right? We know the target is down here. Easy. Great. Awesome play. What else do we think about as I'm getting into a play? What's our two try rule? Two try roll is going to be in play if this one doesn't work. So this is one of those scenarios. Watch what happens. That one as well. okay. Push my Boom. My I move my targets out. That's great. Fantastic. Right well managed. You can That's see fine. That. I'm leaving some of them there. That's okay. You know, I really want you to push these all the way out in general. Uh, but where I'm at in the count here and there's traffic here. So I'll go ahead and take some. I would have added if I got anything else here. I think ahead in scenarios like this, if I'm going down into a space where there's stuff, okay, 
then I know that we can probably do some of this. I get to add again, and I wanna see one of these down to that target in general. So thinking ahead, this is a pretty decent play here, um, but ends up not working out, that's okay. Pull the stop out, but watch what happens on the two try rule. Standard double cross, double move, target down below. We are with the MACV Ultimate, so let's keep that in mind. Finger over the close, we start to break back behind that red line. That is our visual stop location right there. Okay, got to start thinking close. All right, I'm going to close it out here. I can always do try rule it, F6. There's my entry. Stop out right back behind the cross. All right, so I'm thinking ahead. Great, so I stop out at the red line. That's good news. I stopped out in the proper location. I'm good. Stopped out right back behind here. That's fine. I drew the white line. This is our two try rule. As the price breaks through there, I should be entering into that position, right? Let's see if I pull that off. Let's see. Crosses again, small stops, big targets. That is the way our system. Now, I also want to take a note. What's the speed right now? Uh, looks like it's only 70. Okay, so it's not super fast yet. Um, with the afternoon session with you guys. So if we break back through, it's a two-try rule through that white, uh, white line area. I will but you can hear me talking, talk, 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 talking. Not paying attention. Again, I, some of this is streaming, but here we go. Try it again, or the target down below. That is how we work. We take two tries, we don't take three, because we don't strike out. This is baseball, let's go. I explain the two-try rule, because I always feel obligated to teach, which is fine. Okay, green enigma. So two things, if you break below that green enigma. Okay, so I'm talk, talk, talking, but normally, here's the thing. If you see that green enigma show up, what do we think? If I see the Enigma break, mind you, because we are still strong sell side, okay? So I want to think things in opposite. I get a green Enigma, I want to see a break of that. So what does that do? That even entices me even more to do that two try roll. Would have been awesome. So I should be ready, and I was. I was talking about it, I was ready for it. I said I was ready. I, as soon as I break through this zone and tap into that white, I should have entries where? My entries should be sitting right on that line or pretty darn close to it, maybe even up higher. You beautiful set a ginormous little space there all the way down to target two with MACV ultimate with favorable direction all of that good stuff right i'm sure i'm gonna play this out perfectly right it's gonna be perfect break through that that's gonna be a good sign my got my position. finger over the cell uh, but i'm up there look at me i don't know what i'm doing up here trying to teach and still trying to teach i'm like over here like showing looking up the MACV ultimate Vinny, get your fingers back on the buttons bro you gotta trade bro thought process here Look where my mouse is. See where my mouse is? Am I prepared at all here? Do I have my finger over the buttons where I can execute right here? Nope. All right, see me, let's, let's watch me fail here. Yeah, see the red alpha over on the right? Again, also over here, yes, I see. I see, I see the red alpha over there on the right. I have all this stuff lined up for me and watch how far behind I get on this entry. All right, let's see if this is the one. Yeah, Finally got my finger over the button. That's great. Almost there. Broken and wow. Look at how fast it ripped right through there. Okay, now there's a couple of things. There are some tricks here. So let's talk about this. I normally don't do this, but you could do what? What could you do here? Experienced traders, you guys don't see me do this. So you, if you've been around me for a long time, you're not going to see me do this. But what can I put right here? I could put limit orders, right? I could put not specifically stop limit orders. Let's talk about what a stop limit order is. Great time to do some learning. What is a stop limit order? Stop limit order, go look into them. Basically you can have a resting order sitting right on a line like this or multiples, where as the price breaks through it, it is a stop limit because as it breaks through, it will execute you at market. It will become a market order. Even though it says a limit, it is the limit of that price, but I will do a market order, not a limit. Why do I wanna do that? I wanna stop limit order because if I do a limit order, the market can pass through me without filling me, and that's no fun. So I want to do a stop limit orders. I could be having them sit right there. If I know that that's a spot that I want to do it, I could have done that. And this is a scenario where it probably would have been a good idea to do that. However, then I would have had, I probably would have felt obligated to teach everybody in the live stream while I'm doing that versus me being able to do it right now, where again, if I'm doing this in private, I could have done that. I probably could have executed on that more quickly. But this speed goes very quickly from around a 72 and we bust up to like a 250, 300 here very, very quick. And I do not get an opportunity to get in on this play. And that really sucked ball sack. And it was another great play because that is a huge fake out up there. You hear the, uh, the seller start to come in on the audio box queue. Easy play here to have gotten short and hit this all the way down. But I suck it up here. I've got the wrong size limit order as well because I should be on a larger ATM, but instead I'm sitting there on tiny. Why am I on tiny when I'm going with the MACV ultimate? That is dumb. So I'm on the wrong ATM, I press the button, and so look, my first target I get, I only get five ticks out of that. That is dumb. 
That should have been all the way down there. Oh, so frustrating even watching this. Here we go. All right. So I start to load up, but I'm getting little tiny targets because I'm just unprepared. So look how badly, I, I mean, my entry is down here when it needed to be up here. So again, not going to make enough out of this to do any real damage. Uh, a couple targets there. Yikes. Green Enigma showing up here. That's going to be trouble for me. And those stops are also in the wrong place. Why? Why are those stops in the wrong place? Because my entry was down here, right? Total suck wind. Because what ends up happening, that sucker stopped me out basically to the tick, comes, breaks back down, goes all the way through that, and then some. And if I had been in the proper location, what do we know would have happened? I would have won this trade instead of a loser, and we'd be up over 1K on the day right here. Look at that. It literally turns after it stops. Boom. Now, I'm way behind it. Now, yes, I get in, but look how slow that was. All of this. Slow, slow, slow. Yes, I'm blaming on a lot that, okay, I'm out here live streaming. I'm trying to talk through it, walk through it. Um, you know, it's embarrassing to have not gotten that one. Then, again, should have been an add to position play there instead, but nope, doesn't turn into that. I end up botching it, trying to add as this thing whips back down in there. Yes, it goes through our target one. Just, ah, this... This was a mess, absolute mess, poor execution, um, ultimately ends up breaking straight through that. I have no order contracts left on zero, okay? Again, easy to have continued on with that. Yes, I get in right there, but I should have been closer to the cross. Again, should have been an easy set of 10, a uh, little easy 10 ticker there. Ultimately, I don't know if I get that one or not, get the red, yeah. So we get, we get a little bit out of this play. But again, Beautiful should have been well up over now probably 1500 on the day, but instead I am only up 470 for poor execution. Don't let this happen to you. All right, let's go into the next trade here. All right, that's that one again. We've seen that one. Let's go to the next one. Oh, there's that second cross. All right, so what should I be doing? Looks to me like I should be going short. Let's see if I take a short here. There it was, right there. See that? We should have gone long, right there. Why? Okay. Oof. Okay, so why sh things. why go long there? Actually, I'm going to talk through it. I'm, I'm going to let myself, since I spent the time to teach it in the course, we'll go ahead and let myself tell myself. All right, let's play it. So there's cross one. What do I tell you? We're going to go? go along with it. Okay, impulse leg coming down into it. I want to get in the direction of the impulse leg on alpha omega one. On the second one, I want to take that up for a T1, T2, right? And there it was. I missed out on that second one. So right, well, this is Alpha Omega Cross Training. Mike Schwartz also did a teaching and a training on this. Very simple idea. And let's talk through it here. So if a leg is coming down, two legs, doesn't matter how many are coming in and doesn't matter the color, as long as we have an Alpha Omega Cross. Let's draw our, cro our box here. Alpha Omega Cross. So what direction is the impulse leg coming from? It's coming from the north to the south. So as this comes down, I want to play this in the direction, down this direction for 10 or 15 ticks, depending on which time frame it comes in on. Off of the threes or higher, you can get 15 ticks, but I'm trying to get 10 ticks out of a play off of this, expecting that that extra move, this is gonna be stop runs popping in here. This is gonna be algorithms picking up orders. And this is carnage. What they don't want is people to push them back in. So they take all those stops. It probably pushes down a little bit farther. Some people try to get a little bit wise. They might pop in one more time. And so the only time we're going to do a reversal off of this is on the second cross. So write this down in your notes. The reversal comes on second. A O alpha omega. Okay, not the first one. So the first one is a continuation. So put this on your notes there as well. First AO. Continuation. One nearby on a secondary. Secondary one, we want to reverse it. Everybody got it? Take your screenshot. Let's move on. That's what happened right here. Would have been an easy one off of the threes. I know that doesn't look like much, but that is plenty to get there. That's probably about 25 tick up move comes into the king timing level. And yes, it turns, but it doesn't matter. That's a that's a free 20 ticks off of that one right there. Did not make that either. Here we go. Almost down to the diamond spot. We are here on a shark back on the 29 range. I might be on the wrong range. I just noticed. Yeah. Okay. I could take a little lift off right here with a little green enigma. It would have been an easy scalp to the long. Uh, I missed that one there. 
I'm telling you, I do not recommend live streaming and trying to talk through and trying yeah, yeah, to yeah, yeah. To complaining about the live stream. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot, and the additional pressure to have a conversation is tough, right? But I'm doing it because I love you guys. I love you guys so much. We're doing it here, and uh, yeah, let's go. No excuses, Vinny. You can do it anyway. What are you talking about? Oh man, I love my trolls. I love them so much. I love them. I freaking love them. They're awesome. Thanks, and appreciate that, my friend. All right, so there's another AO showing up there. Yeah, two gunmen walking at the same time. It is. It's a little bit like. The I'm not sure where the next trade is. So let's go ahead and go to the next trade. Uh, We're gonna so go straight go. to trades. There's a DCDM. I'm gonna. All right, double cross, double move. Now, is this a good play? Yeah, I see shorts there. I see we got. We know. We know our current combo. We've got red, red. Cool. Can I take a short in that direction? Yes, yes, we can. Now, is this an accumulation zone? Kind of. We have to be careful here. We have come down on a big leg. We have pivot one, pivot two. So what do we have now? That means that this is now a possible accumulation zone. What do we know about an accumulation zone on double crosses, right? DC in, <clears throat> in ACC, in accumulation equals what? Reversals, okay? So should I be taking a continuation right there? Not if I identify that this is in an accumulation zone, this would be then a reversal. But we're in the direction of the MACV ultimate, so worth a shot. Let's see if we play this well or not. Try this short first. If we're in accumulation zone, this could be a reversal. We don't know if this is accumulation because this is only the second zoom, right? We, this could go like this, which means this would be a reversal. Yeah, However, I'm teaching instead of managing my trade. Nice well, that's probably not going to work out well for me. My target down here to my DCDM target down below. Uh, nope, we're crossing it. Okay, taking a stop right there. I can always two try rule it. I don't remember if I two try ruled I it or a, not. I need an F6 line right here. Very tight accumulation zone here. So I'll leave that one alone for a two try. I like to see it pop out and then slam back through. That one didn't do that. So I'm waiting on that one. Not gonna do a two try rule on this one right there. We know we've got a target down below. If this turns out to be a wide accumulation zone, cool. We know what to do, right? Double cross all will be reversals. <clears throat> there is my red headshot over there on the right. All I'm waiting for now is my signal over here and we will take it. We are still to the short side bias for the longs. I'm gonna go long. I've got to go scalp it. Is that a possible four-legged dog trap? Ah, good eye. Let's see. One, two, three, four. You are right, sir. Look at John picking out. This is the four-legged dog trap. Very nice, very good. Very very nice. I think John uh, John Manigold came out and saw the four-legged dog trap. Yep, he counted them out. One, two, three, four. Boom. Here comes the head. So we could be looking to the long side. That was great analysis Very good. there. I actually learned from my own personal mentor. If you guys want to follow a real price action mentor, not this ICT horse manure, go out there and follow a guy named Oliver Velez. Oliver Velez. He's good stuff. He also speaks two languages. He's got uh, Spanish and English. Give some shout-outs to my old mentor. A whole lot of other things that I know. He's a good teacher. Very good teacher. Um, as is Joseph One James. of two primaries. So great, great teacher. You know, he's had some problems with a few things. You know, he was uh, bored of people at some point, but the guy can teach. We'll just put it that way. If the guy had been born with a silver spoon at the right spots, you know, any, even his SEC stuff would have been a problem. All right, let's get to it. No waiting. We got two red enigmas up top. Bots got that already. Um, I don't know why I'm not getting my mind. It's okay. Let's wait. Still got my finger over the cells. I need to see an entry, though. Here's king timing. Here's king timing over there on the threes. You see it? I keep being tempted to teach while I'm trying to trade. It's a mistake. <laughs> There's my red enigma. There she is. Let's go. There it is. That's a good play, but I should be pushing out targets. I should be pushing out that. T1, I got five ticks out of that. That's dumb. I'm still on tiny for some reason. Oh, yeah. Could not be doing tiny right there. Me. I got too excited about that. Over here on the right, ended up getting. I totally missed that. I totally did not Again, now that one can happen. It can happen. Uh, if it breaks, we can retry. Not concerned with that. It's a good play. It's a good loss. No big deal. Final trade. Try to push it. Try to push it. All right, let's go into the next set of trades here. Long, I've got to go see, we took that one. Let's From go to the threes, next one. You see it? Yep, we know about that one. That kind of stuff. Okay, this should be our next set of plays here. Let's see what we do here. There's my break. All right, breaking it for a retry. Um, two try um, rule. Looks like so I'm going two try here, on that red day, coming right back down. Be a big I think Let's this is the one that here. like goes to the tick. I don't remember. So two try ruling it, still going with the Mac V plus favorable direction, taking a two try rule. Enigma, look like a fake out to the top, possibly an opportunity to get the drop. Put it on high speed. Yikes, green enigma. All right, so if that Yikes, green break, enigma shows up, so top, should be going ahead uh, and closing out this position. So Mac V should be filtering me. I should not be taking a green based on my Mac oh, filter. Easy one there for me to go ahead and close out position because we are in the accumulation zone here. 
on yeah, that. Panel I can, you can totally see the accumulation zone. So my own critique for myself here, um, you know, I think this is, <laughs> it feels like uh, stream pressure. I don't know if I call it peer pressure, but uh, st stream pressure. So I'm taking the secondary two try rule, but now there's your canceler right there. This is no longer a two try rule. Are we still playing a red enigma? No, now I've got a green enigma coming in. Uh, we know that we've shifted from a strong cell to moderate cell, and we've got a big shark over here on the right, and we've got two bright green dots over here on the right. So, you know, hindsight being 2020, I can totally see how, you know, this is a perfect zone. On top of that, you see the divergence purple arrow um, standing in there in the purple triangle, you know, and the alpha, I mean, just so many things here going, you know, this could be a big push up here. This is no longer, hey, just a pure, you know, drop play here. And two try roll, this thing should have been canceled. This should have been a small stop out, but let's see what happens. Went a little bit too heavy on that last, uh, on that last short. Arrived in the count. Yikes, all right, yikes, yep. okay. And that Enigma is smoking it. <clears throat> okay, let's go to the next one. Time frame play. There's okay, it looks like a double cross, double move to the long side. Let's see if I play that. Cross. We'll take that one to the long I I do. side. Up there yep. Now, top. I finally got wise and I changed my ATM um, to bigger, which is great. So it lands my target perfectly where it needs to be, uh, but I'm not big enough. If I've already, so this is my sizing problem. Um, I was not keeping track mentally where I was in my sizing. I still did a three tick click when I should have done four or five. So sizing problem right here. Uh, perfect DCDM though to you know play this one out. We've got all the signs. You know we already had the divergence. We had the shark back. We had the double dots here, and there's your perfect play as we've broken out of the accumulation zone. Is that inside the accumulation zone? No. Is it anywhere close to the accumulation zone? No. Are we well out of it? Yes. Have we already moved one leg out in the second move? Yes. So perfect DCDM should have loaded the boat on that one. Didn't. So sizing problem. Great trade though. There we go. Nope, pretty easy. Filled. Excellent. That one helped. It's about 800. Now we but I am just, you can just tell, not trading well at this point. And that was probably trade number six. So that would have been basically you're closing out the day here at uh, a minus 200. Not great trading. And you close up the day right here. That's what should be happening. Now, I've got the pressure of the stream. I'm going to be out here, going to do the things. The markets are moving real fast. The speed is pretty good right now. It still hasn't gone absolutely ape, ape crazy. So let's see, uh, let's go just watch me uh, just get, get obliterated on the rest of this. Let's go. Take a short off of that gold line reversal. Okay, smart play. Gonna close it up there, easy Good, breezy. nice little Back scalp. Two. I tell you guys all the time, if I've got a big runner up like that, super fast, we come right into a gold line. I can play it for a little reversal off of five and 10 ticks. No problem, great job. Okay, I should applaud myself for what we do right. Break Yay, easy, hooray, easy breezy, that's fantastic. But I should have been girl. bigger All and right, I should be in positive territory, but I'm we literally sitting here at minus for, $10 um, on the day for bad trading, bad execution. Here. We are now neutral, there's my red enigma. I'll take a shot at the enigma, stop up right Red enigma. And again, we've moved into neutral territory, so there's nothing wrong Dragon with trying to take this play, play here. Very, very um, but as we're top, moving and I see so this gigantic for delta showing up here, there. It's going to be Nick very, very says, risky. I don't think so. <clears throat> Play at high speed. Target down below here, and let's see if we can make something out of it. Yikes. Now it's a green. This is an opportunity. Monster conflicted. You know, um, recency is key. Okay. Recency is key. Just write that down. We have seen this in a lot of our videos. All right. We say this. This is our little catchphrase. Recency is key. So what should I be doing? All right. Reverse. I should reverse that, get long, um, and I'd be an easy 510 ticks to add to my position there. Again, I'm really pretty small right here, so I'm not right, one concerned, by, one by short but um, nice. okay. should have so taken that. It's an easy opportunity for me to take that on the right. Is it enough to push it down side right there? Take a shot. Um, but I didn't. Yikes. All right, don't like that. I'm here by yep. coming on the take there, so I'm going to close that out. Real dumb there, Vinny. You should have gone long, bro. You got the green one that showed up afterwards. You know that we're shifting in that direction. That was dumb. And now, okay, dumb, da dumb, dumb, dumb. First play, what should we do? I already said it. Is this the first AO that I've seen in a long time? Yes. So what am I even thinking here? No idea because we're neutral. So neutral and we've been on an up move after an enigma. Easy play should have been to the long side for 10 to 15 ticks on number one. Now the second one, I'm less concerned with the second one here. This just turns into a double cross play here. So we can measure from right here. 
brought it to here and we get our projection target out here somewhere. But I am just at this point, I can tell I'm flustered. I'm sitting there trying to teach too much. I'm not playing. I'm not, my head's not in the game. I've got uh, more alpha omegas showing up over here on the right. I'm totally missing these. And one of them is a headshot. There is a green headshot inside of there with an AO and I am just not paying attention. So, you know, terrible trading here, terrible executions. Let's see it play out. Inside of, wow, that is. The system's doing quite well. The bots are up at this point over $400, and I'm sitting in at a minus 2K now. Okay, so oftentimes on that second cross, we get the reversal. Didn't happen there. Didn't happen. A third one came in. This is a rare, rare scenario. Don't see this too often. Yeah, 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 Vinny. Talking, teaching too much, bro. The break of the green dot. Come back into that delta zone. Um, let's go to the next play. Off of that gold line reversal. We already did that one. No problem. Go to the next one. Set up here. We are yep, we already saw that one. Zone. Sorry, I'm going to play this in order. I've first. got these all laid out for myself to go to the next trade, and I didn't do it. There's okay, so go. here is uh, me way getting behind way that. behind a trade entry here. Finally, oh, going to try to get in Yikes. on a totally Alpha Omega back. in the wow. right direction, totally but I'm too far behind it, and a Red Enigma way shows up and wrecks my world. Okay. Again, I am way off my game here at this point. So finally get wised up to go, okay, so we've got the red first green one shows up. We're gonna take that. The second one we would reverse, but easy play here, but there's the red enigma to take us back the other direction. It's on all of them. Now the bots are up, I'm down and fast. Another another, another avoidable trade. That's also in the accumulation zone. So could have just avoided that one altogether. Um, or scalped it for a little bit up and, and then red enigma shows bars. up and close the position but we're getting way too fast now you can tell look at the speed the speed is at 354. so at 354 i could not have reacted to that properly if i wanted to sorry my sons are coming in one moment all right so at this point seeing that at 354 i should have been either shifting there's a couple ways to gear shift here i could have shifted by Changing my time frame, I could have gone from ones, I could have gone up to twos or threes, um, or switched over to YM or RTY. Again, easy ways to have solved this problem, okay? Now, oftentimes in a normal layout, like if I'm at this PC, I've got all of the instruments laid out so I could just see them right in front of me, but you know, I'm doing this for the sake of the live stream, yada, yada. I know you guys keep hearing me go, oh, you know, it's the excuse of the live stream, but I actually wanna, Say this because some people have asked, hey, Vinny, can I go live stream? And I'm like, dude, I'm recommending that you don't, okay? I would rather you record it. And if you wanna put out highlight reels of it, I think that's gonna be more important for you. In my opinion, live streaming is extremely difficult. I may, I don't know if I make it look easy or not or why people want to do it, but I'm telling you, it's hard. Okay, so easy, and then go back the other way. It's, it's hard watching this. This is just absolutely terrible. The speed is terrible, but I believe I keep playing off of this anyway. Let's go to the next one. There's King timing into a shark back with a green. Okay, so looks like I am taking a hopefully a long. Yeah, so it looks like I'm taking a long here shark back play with a Enigma cross. Looks good, nothing wrong with doing this, but the stops need to be a little bit closer. It should be up underneath that cross. Let's see if I make the adjustment or not. Is it gonna be enough? Yikes, double cross with a big target down below. Close it out, close it out. Yeah, that's rocking the wave, pushed it all the way up. Still a moderate vibe. Waiting for Enigma. Yeah, I thought there was a retry there. Nope. Okay, let's go to the next I one. We'll take a reversal. Okay, so from prior, we're still in that same zone there. There was that double cross that did not get all the way in. So now we have an accumulation zone here. Okay, there's our first exit out. Nice. Oh, no, I reversed. Okay, this is, that makes sense. I know, I know why I did this. This is actually a good play. So... We've got an accumulation zone. I love these. Double cross at the top of a zone. First play is typically right back down inside. I like that I took the short right there, but I don't like that this one just got away. It didn't work. Yikes, and it went all the way up. Okay. Yep, that so, can happen. 
So most of the time you get the accumulation zone, first double cross in it, it's gonna come back in. Sometimes it doesn't, okay? So that's fine. Took a loss, I, I'm happy with that loss. I'm okay with that one. Uh, I don't know if I stopped out in the proper location. I might need to go back and look at that a little bit closer, that was but a... I totally get it. Let's go to the next one. All the way up into it, all the enigmas are showing. Now, I'm sad that I didn't take, what's that? That is a perfect gold line reversal, but I think I'm sitting there licking my wounds. But you know what another problem is, is it's too fast. I could not have reacted to that even if I wanted to. And on top of the fact that I'm on a live stream, this speed is too fast for me to playing this off of a live stream. But that is a perfect gold line reversal that I missed right there. Plus a double enigma. Are you kidding me? Easy, short right there. And I botched it. Um, it looks like I tried to get in after two more show up. Wow, Vinny. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, look at our, 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 our. Well, you know, you know, ICT student, bro. Like, <laughs> this is a uh, finally okay. Uh, that's now. that's great, but you know, of too course, little, too late, and it is too little because I can tell I'm not in. Uh, I'm not in big enough right there. First play inside. That's a good place to add. Want to get ten ticks beyond that? That's good. That's another play. Ex excellent. Um, but what I don't yeah, what see I is see that is we just got two. Zone and then I just yeah, I, know, I see two setups over there. <laughs> oh we got right an HMD coming in trees. over on the right. Can't see it. Uh, it's out of my sight. I can tell I'm on a 55 inch, and my eyes are squared Lines in over here. I don't see this out of the corner of my eye over here. Don't like that, I'm that we have the a ultimate. HMD plus uh, the cross, everything inside there. Headshot inside of a PRZ. Tough spot right there. Let's extend this out here. Should be the accumulation zone still. There we go. Okay, got lucky that we got a red enigma in there. Reversal should be a target one, target two. I'm pushing a little bit farther there than I probably should, but I'm behind in the count here, so that is what I'm going to try. I'm going to try to get it all the way out across the accumulation zone here. Bit of a risk here. It's it's a good risk. With a winner, or I'll probably. I don't remember if this one works out or not. Let's see if I can grill this into my brain, into my brain here. I do like that I'm targeting the bottom of that zone. Very nice. Very nice. Excellent. Now, that's getting greedy. That is getting greedy, Vinny. That's getting greedy, bro. Oof. Is he going to get that? I don't think so. Oh, I did. Okay, I got lucky on that one. I got lucky. That is definitely getting greedy. So, if I'm going to catch one up here, and I'm going to go on the other side of that accumulation zone, and I see a double cross right there, I should not be thinking, oh, keep going, okay? This should pop back up. I could have waited for something else on the other side down there. That was more risky than it needed to be. Uh, but I was I could just hear myself just talking straight through that whole trade the whole time, still continuing to talk to the audience instead of focusing on my trades. Okay, Carry on. Now. We've got a gold line target down below. DC with a enigma. We'll take a short. Okay, I don't see anything wrong with that play. Close above that enigma. Finger over close. Another enigma. Get my target right back behind the enigma. Don't break it. Nothing wrong it. with that. Drop it. Drop it. Except that Another every retailer in the world is probably trying to get short right there at this point. We break, someone cry. We go. I am winner, winner, chicken dinner. Oh man, so much enigma here. Just all it needs to do is push. Come on, don't break it. Don't you break it? Whoa, yikes! Look at uh, that. Yikes, that's a problem. Come on now. Drop it. Don't pop me. Don't do it. Drop it. Stay under. Stay and under. this is where things start to get bad. All right, so there. Now I am back at minus two k. And work my way back into a good below. spot there, but now back at minus 2k. Let's see the next trade. I'm breaking rules. Wait, hold up. Nope, I missed one. Uh, because now I'm at minus four. Which one did I miss here? This is at minus 141. Um, let's go to 130. Okay, what did I do right here? Said double cross. Go to this one first. Two seven. Yeah, this was the good play. We liked that one. That was fine. So then the one after it must have been this one. Okay. I am must be short. So I tried to take a reversal. Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking that this is going to be, is that an accumulation zone? I don't know how I acquired that that was an accumulation zone. It's just a bounce. So double cross, double move, all the way down, touches the target one, easy goal line reversal. Um, looks like I try to take that one back down, assuming this is going to be an accumulation zone. 
Um, and I went pretty big on that one. Uh, that one, that is definitely a, definitely a mistake. That feels like trappage. That feels like a big old trap. <laughs> uh, I think I missed some trades in there. Today. Absolutely destroyed me. But yeah, two DC DMs that work out quite well. No accumulation zone there, so really no need to assume that. Could have been an easy up play off of that one right there because we are buy side. So again, beating myself up here looking at this. This is fairly easy to see. We are multiple sides up on moderate buy side at this point. MACV ultimate. Tell me to the long side. I've got an Enigma right off of a gold line to the long side. I mean, the bots are already up on me at this point, up 900, and I've crossed and surpassed a max loss here at this point. Yes, I end up coming back and closing out the day just under my max loss, but let's carry on to the, the next one here. So here see what this one was. All right. Red this one of the ones I missed? Shot here on the YM. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened with that other one there. Okay. I don't, I don't mind that one. That one looks pretty good. Why did my quality just go down to poop? Fairly wide movements for... Um, but what's the problem with this? I'm taking a red. When what? We're clearly on buy side. All right, so I'm beating myself up here. Easy one to have avoided right here. Easy one. Um, and could have taken that one to the long side. All the way up to a DCDM target up top. But I didn't. I just, I don't, I think I started to have my own personal bias to the short side, which was dumb and reminding myself, oh, I finally did move over to YM. So I did at this point move down to the YM because of, the, you know, adjusting for speed. But I think it would have been wiser for me if I had done in queue, stayed on in queue because I already had kind of the pacing of that and switched from the ones up to either the threes or twos to adjust for speed. And again, I'm just, I'm kicking myself, like telling myself what I could do in the next one. Um, grilling that into myself, I would switch to the twos rather than switch instruments when I haven't been looking. I haven't been watching this instrument. And I'm still going to kick myself the biggest one at the very beginning of this video. I said, FOMC, what should I be doing on FOMC? Trading toward the golden ropes. And that is exactly what's going on. We are playing into the golden ropes before FOMC. That is the area of safety for all hedge funds, for all 401ks, for all IRA traders. They are all going to be setting those inside the golden ropes pre FOMC. We have these rules for a reason, but I didn't even look at the news. I didn't even look at what was coming up this week. I really actually did not expect on the very first week for an FOMC event. I'll be honest. I thought this was going to be like a major news free week, but no, tomorrow ends up being one of the biggest FOMC events tomorrow. So of course we're going to be trading towards the golden ropes. I did not keep that in mind. And I have instead inserted my own negative bias. And this was a mistake. I should have simply on 100% pure and mechanical. So this is teaching, you know, to myself, but also <clears throat> to our members, just let the tools do the work. Do not try to assume, do not try to read into everything a market is trying to tell you uh, visually is, is going to be working against you to begin with. Let the tools do the work, the internals and the stats are better than you, I promise. And they are better than me as well. I need to remind myself of that on a regular basis. And this is an easy one for me to have avoided. I'm going to kick myself while I watch this trade. Kick me in the ball sack. We do have a potential big opportunity right here. We've got a divergence fired inside of the golden ropes up top here. And when we move over to YM, it gets much, much slower, almost too slow. So now I'm trading, oh, you know, under 30 on good. speed. Also not good. We need to be above 50 to be on the ones. Should not be taking trades here. Or in a grind, we should not rewind. And that is grinding. And that is, I believe this is one of those trades that just shoots straight up. Another cross right here. Yeah. At two positions. Now I, I start adding into it. Close. This is dumb. If I had this with me, maybe. But I don't. Mac V Ultimate is telling it's us we're going long. Closer. Right? Do and I'm sitting here building into a position. It's sure, it gets a little bit positive on me. Zone. But at that moment, I should have realized I'm going to be on the wrong side of this. And I should be thinking to the long side. Uh, does look like I got away with one right there, but let's see what happens. Should have just been trading with this right here. 
Okay, so I go to another red. Is this where, I, oh, is this where I kind of do, is this where I do okay? I play inside of this accumulation zone. Okay, so I get a few. Probably gets me my confidence back and then totally wrecks me after this. Yeah. And I see we're over here on a green cipher, probably finished out here. We've got double green dots now showing up. I just see that on the high time frame. So higher time frame is about to kick in, about to come in and smack me around. Oh, that's that's in queue. I forget. I forget. I'm on YM now. Oh my word. Over 200, really, but when we hit 360, I'll say okay. Oh, okay, All so it pulls out the trade now. eventually. All right, let's go to the next one. Thank you. Why is my quality going to poop? Okay. Um, cluster at the top of an accumulation zone, not a bad idea, <laughs> but. We've already touched this. We've already done it once. Oh, We've done do it twice. It. This ends up being the break don't up and out of here, I think. Stay inside. Stay inside my zone. Come on. There it Yikes. is. Let's drop it now. Double cross inside the zone. So close. Oh, crap. Oh. oh. Not a great oh, that one should have canceled it out. Here. But a lot of things to, I wouldn't say learn, but reinforce. The speed was way too fast. Really. I was trying to be a superhero and trade into 300, 400 BPM speed. That's not going to work. Not going to work. Just good speed over here, but I'm, I'm having to try to size up to try to come back. Not a good spot to be. Yeah, we had some pretty solid massive days in December. That's good, but still, yeah, walking away with a, sitting at a minus 10k on a day one. Eh, not the way we start. Okay, should we get long? Should we try to take a long right there? We are strong by side. That's the first AO. That's Why don't I get long? Time. I'm kicking myself. Get long right there, bro. Take it for a 10 shot. Your worst case scenario, so what? You're back into the accumulation zone. So what? Why do you have your finger over the sell button, bro? It's Mac V is green, bro. All right, I'm beating myself up here. The Mac V is green, bro. That is the first Alpha Omega, and there she goes. Oh my word! There's the second one. So if you're gonna get short, okay, sure. So you get you get smart with it. You get you get short there. Not gonna probably not gonna work out, but hey, at least you could have gotten uh, five or ten out of that one. But the first one you should have made money on didn't. So now this one's not gonna pay you enough. This is just a series of events that starts to get nasty. Cool. So you take that short. Great. Fantastic yourself give yourself a pat on the back but you got to beat yourself up from the prior one ao1 boom go long second one sure take a short but we are going against this literally we are on strong buy right now and i'm sitting there trying to get more than a t1 out of this really dumb yeah you got lucky okay yeah so you get the omega i'm sorry the enigma to come with you that's fantastic but the problem is bro we are strong by side right now and that could totally wreck you that breaks you should be getting long bro i usually am very good at that on a break a break of those enigmas and i should be punching in reverse getting long double in the opposite direction I don't remember how this one plays out. Let's see what happens. That's why, that's why I need to review these anyhow. Let's see. So short continues to build, continues to build. It ends up, okay, so I get the break. But there's a green one and I don't go long there. All right, Bro. got a green enigma here, so. All right, I get lucky. Oh, is this the one I get really lucky on? Okay, yeah, this is the one that, yes, it ends up being like the best, best short that I had. Okay, that one's real nice. Ends up coming all the way back for me. Yay, hooray. Tell me more. Tell me more 
how you think you're right. But let me just for a moment beat myself up here. Should have gotten long right here. Sure, take a short reversal here. But then when I hear the break of this one, the break of that one right there, that's where I should have really started to get in hard, strong. I'm uh, mentally impressing this onto my brain here. Let me take some mental notes and mental screenshots here. Yeah, and this one over here too. We got that right at the back of the PRZ. Great play to the short side. Should, but man, I should be well up on the day here. So we come back from this, ultimately end up being like, a, we're pretty close to break even, and then I end up giving it all back because I get too greedy. Push it out, fast forward. Yeah, that's a win. Next one ends up being a loss. Look at that. I get all the way to the bottom and I don't close out there. Um, and there's my exit. There's my exit. What are you doing? Oh, you're too busy talking to everybody. Talk, 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 talk. You're over there talking, talking, talking. You're flapping your lips, bro. Flapping your lips. All right, do I end up closing it? Yeah, I think I end up. I did close it right about here. I close it right there. Good, because I'm like, oh, I'm getting nervous here about that. Okay, close it. Fantastic. Okay, good. So let's close out that one. Go to the next one. What do I end up doing here? Um, that's, we already been through that one. We already went through that one. Okay, so what am I doing right here? Quality keeps doing that. Okay. Um, did I go short right here? Okay. So, I know why. Mac the Ultimate. Got a red here. But there's a double cross in there, bro. That is a double cross, double move with the target up top. And this is the first Alpha Omega. There's not two here, bro. Yeah. So should have been an easy shot all the way up to there, I'm assuming. Let's see. It's a long play, yeah. Okay, so I'll add to the position. I add to that position. Yikes. Put him in a two try rule to the long. Parts around there. It's way so again, the play is over, bro. That play is over. That's fine. Retry. We'll be right there. That's what I'm thinking you had here. Okay, now I could I could try an enigma right there. I get that. That's fine. But if it breaks that, bro, you gotta get you gotta look for that long side, bro. That's tough. Crack up favorites. out to the favorites. top. A lot of my favorites. Double cross at the top. Of Double cross at the top of, of, of his own. Feet. Sure, no problem. I'll take that. But I'm I'm clearly getting way too big on that. That should still be again. We're back to buy side. Look at this. We're back to buy side. So if I'm gonna do that, that's gotta be a target one, bro. Nope. Nope. No. Don't you do it. No, <laughs> no man. Oh, it's not today. So, not today. Oh, gotta be man. a T you gotta be a T1 at the top of one of those. Anyway, I'm trying to get too big on those at that point. I'd come all the way back to like a minus 1k and start giving it away. Try number two. Am I getting short again? The cross. Targets at the bottom of the box. Yeah. Oh, that's the same play. Uh F12. Uh, All right. So now YM is getting super slow. What was this play? Long scratch. Cross, what are we doing? Coming inside? <laughs> At least I'm going the right direction this time. Mac V Ultimate Green. I'm never gonna never gonna kick myself for going with the Mac V. That's fine. Good stuff. Yes, wanna test 50 pivot and then stop shorts. I think it's fun no matter what. 50 on the ES. Yeah, I wish I had the ES chart up right now. Don't have visibility to that. Advantage to you guys if you do have the multi. Let's go to the next one. Yes, want to test 50 pivot and then stop shorts. I think it's fun no matter what. 50 on the ES. Yeah, I wish I had the ES chart up right now. Don't have visibility to that. Advantage to you guys if you do have the multi instrument layout. 
That way you can. Bots are up over 900. I'm down 6k at the moment. Big target up top here. Let's see. Green Enigma. Green Enigma. Nice get long. Okay, right, nothing wrong with that. I'm fine with that. Stop below the Enigma, nothing wrong with that one. Okay, that's a decent loss, that's fine. At least you're, at least you're going with it, that's fine. Still moderate buy, finger should be over the buy button. So the next one. No, why am I, okay, I'm short, but I can see it up there. I should be to the long side, right? Give X speed, two, why does my quality level keep changing? I have no idea. Yeah, I would be a good switch. So I'm short here. Yeah, Why am I short? Hold on. I need to think here. Why am I short? Because of that red dot over there? I mean, there's multiples. Okay, I see it. I see there's a red dot and a red dot. Okay, I get it. But our bias, it does not correlate with our bias. And these are on separate charts, yada, yada. Okay, sure, you could try a shot at this, T1, T2, maybe. But where I'm at in the count right now, I really need to be getting everything on my side. So noted, I'm down in the count here. I cannot be taking swings at stuff like this when I'm behind in the count. If you're behind in the count, wait. Wait for the ones where they're lined up. Okay, I'm taking a you know a chance right here, but I don't need to be taking a chance right now where I'm at in the count. Nice to just have all of them here in front of me. There's a double cross. We should reverse this and go long. Okay, double cross inside of an accumulation zone. We reverse, so we don't expect it to move up, but it's only good for 10 or 15. Fingers should be over the reverse here and push long. But I'm less likely to do that on a live stream. I have found that for myself all the time. Uh, it's hard to be there on a stream. There's that, well, I'll call it stream pressure. Nope. Stream pressure, extreme pressure. 10 minutes of 350 Yep. Easy, double cross, double move, right there to the long side. You can just see it. Break of the red dot, we're with the MACV Ultimate. MACV Ultimate still is the overriding force of all things. You stay with the MACV Ultimate and you're gonna be in a good spot. <clears throat> Let's see. B. Alright, sorry, go to the next trade. Go to the next trade. Go to the next trade. Oh my word. Why does the quality keep doing this? Is that the end of that play? Oh, it says retry short. Do I retry this short? So why didn't I get long right there? Well, we're technically neutral, but we've been on the buy side. So easy long right there. It looks like I skip it. Seven minutes. I've, I can feel my bias. I can tell my bias is still too much to the short side. Two lucky sevens. So I don't take that one. That's a mistake. Oh, hold up. What just happened? Um, the speaker does suck. So let's move and see if we get a big play. Okay, so I go back to NQ. Okay, I was like, well, how did that change? Okay, so I go back to NASDAQ because the speed was terrible. Nothing wrong with that. But now I have to reacclimate. This is what I don't like about what I've done there. Um... How many good opportunities do I miss here? One, two on the reversal. Break. Okay. So we're switching over to NQ here. I get it. Let's see. First trade. Taking a short. Okay, I get it. 
Leg down, first alpha. Finally, I hey, I take an alpha the proper way. One trade, but that thing is like a level 17, right? Oh, it's 19.6. So that's a reversal level, especially because there's one right there. So we've got two of those right here. I should have been thinking reversal. On top of that, I get this sucker right there. We have been on the buy side. I've just got a green set up here. Just so many things that I missed in taking this short here. And a ginormous, the biggest delta we've ever seen for the reversal. How dumb. How dumb. Okay, Yikes, so. green enigma. All right, so now I have to start thinking about my max loss, 15K. Yeah, so we crossed the 10K scenario. So mentally, I've got to, again, I really should be aligning myself for only the biggest and best plays here at that point. Should have been an easy one right there. Didn't get it. All right, so I'm behind on a, I'm taking a red Enigma up here. Oh my. No problem taking that. Gold line short should have been okay. This one, uh, you okay. know, that's Duke dangerous. Fine, in. take it. But now Please there's a green Enigma. Green enigma. Shift it, Vinny. Reverse, Crack go back it. to the long side. Look at that. Crack it. 350 out goes about the kick. It's going to be hit. It's going to be lit. We've got green, green right there. Come on, bro. I want to see a drop out. Come on, baby. Give me that drop, baby. Drop it out like a boss. Don't you pop it. No, nope. nope. drop it. Drop it for me. Let's go. Let's go. There we go. There we go. Drop it. Okay, so market Try ends up going feet super feet fast. 350 feet. algos kicking no in. Going absolutely nuts. Holy I'm on the wrong side. Just dumb. Dumb. Okay, stopped out the majority of my position there. Let's see if that's a fake out. Here comes. Come back to me. Do it. Nothing wrong with that. There's an ad. That's fine. There you go. Now fill it. Now take your fill. Drop it. Oh my word. Greedy, bro. Greedy. That was greedy, bro. You literally touched the target. You literally touched the target. You didn't take any off. You didn't even take off half, Yikes. bro. Are you stupid? Green Enigma. Gotta take now you're taking there. it off. Stupid. Stupid, bro. Oh, there's a green enigma in there on top of that. Even more so reason. So I'll hold the position. Oh, this is where it just gets nasty. Okay. Double so cross. gross, gross. I don't remember if I close this no, out or not. Right here in the golden ropes. What's the speed? Let's play this faster. Reduce my torture. I had a bias to the short. Now, Again, I think end of day, any other day. If this is not pre-FOMC, okay? Well, this is smart, but what I'm missing is context of pre-FOMC. And look where we're sitting. Right smack in the golden ropes, highest time frame. We're in there. It's just, it, we're just settling in here, bro, before FOMC. It's the end of the day. Same thing right here, pre-FOMC rules. Look at us right in the golden ropes. They are wrapping themselves up, giving you a gift saying, yes, it's pre-FOMC tomorrow, Vinny. Just trade toward the golden ropes. So we bust up and out, full, cool, take it down short. We're down here, put it back inside. We're going to stick here in the golden ropes, bro. We are in the river valley of safety. You're going to end the day there. Again, didn't catch it because I didn't pay attention. I was overly um, confident and just didn't even look at the news. What's our normal thing? First thing we're going to do, check the news. Know what we're going to be happening this week. Pre-FOMC, needed to know. I, of course, yes, I would have, if you had asked me personally, would I have thought that FOMC is going to be on the first week of the year? I don't know why. That just completely escapes me. But now I have grilled it into my head that, hey, there might be an FOMC event on the very first week of the year. So here's to come. There you go. Vinny, I'm speaking to my future self. Um, yes, you can have an FOMC in the first week of the year. Let's go. Let's finish out this pain and torture. The suffering. I literally turn a winner into a loser because I'm too greedy and I don't know that it's FOMC. FOMC. Stupid. And then, do I even take that? No. I don't even take the gold line reversal right there. Why? Why would I not take the gold line reversal? After everything else, I've been taking short, so I'm not going to take one right there. I am in defeated minds. I mean, I'm in the defeated mindset right there. You can just feel it. Come a little bit too cocky, Ben. Come a little bit too cocky, bro. Yep. And there's a pink dot, too. So... Easy little, at least target one right there. If you want to get some cash back, bro. 352. One minute to lucky sevens. I think we're just going to sit right here. T1. They're going to stay here. I think we're going to go together. 
That would be the that would so be the right, right. Your, your final seven team. minutes. Oh, you finally yeah, figure it out, Vinny, that we're right there. And then and I think somebody in the right room and even on says, the primary, primary Hey, game. tomorrow's FOMC. I'm, I'm like, Oh, like, oh crap. Uh, hopefully, they stick it there tomorrow because that means, uh, well, don't I feel stupid? Um, for us, so good opportunities there. Um, for tomorrow, they do sit it here, they do end it up right here. Here's lucky sevens right now. Where's the trap? Most obvious trap is down here, which would mean we want to look to the long side through the end of the day. Uh, if that is the trap, so unless this forms a trap right here, right at it's right at 353. Let's see which way it goes and let's see if we can jump in on it. But I really do think we're just gonna sit right here in this in this spot here. Watch for that to be a new bar. Here's the end of that bar. <laughs> it is torturous to watch myself miss Enigma one, miss Enigma two, when this is literally staring at me, telling me. <laughs> But I can feel, I remember my bias. My bias is that, oh, I think we're going to sell off here at the beginning of the, the year. I've got all this negative stuff going into uh, the beginning of the year, 2023. And I think, oh, people are going to start closing out their position. I'm just like, oh, man, it's going to be a great short day. Uh, dumb. Dumb. Let the tools do the work. I gave it a shot. I gave it a shot. There's a, there's Re a shot there. affirming. Uh, my my stance and knowledge that we are and if we're up there's our new bar yeah so now we could go 89 ticks back down in to sit here inside the golden ropes yep now there's another easy play up top if i recognize the fact that we are pre fomc we know this is the top right there we know we're gonna push back down i mean these are these are so easy in hindsight it's killer it's, so it's fast, killing right? me yeah. Cross double move, target one, no problem. Yeah, I'm gonna look at that chart. You can talk about the ES50. Can you post a screenshot in the room? Look at that big green to the long. Look at it. Look, bro. You got a delta shift. You got a big gigantic green alpha omega that shows up there on the side. You're just not looking. There's a shark back there too. There to there, that's an easy 20 ticks. Why? Green Enigma, take it. Or don't. We went to Alpha to Omega right there, 12 to 12. And did we get a new bar in 89? No, but we did drop that 89, 89 ticks. Bottom of that bar. So it's still sitting there. Didn't take it. Here. Why? Why not? It's by, it's by side, bro. Just take it. Oh, man. I was so... I was so flustered. Yeah, I it's, tried it's to maintain my cool off in the stream. I should have done some pre-work analysis. Um, on no, my it was... It was... Diving in on, uh, going beyond my five or six trades. It was working my head, man. Oh, it was working my head. That enigma, so perfect. Not a good idea. Not a good idea. I'd like to say I stayed pure with the the trading, but I didn't. I'm gonna play back and take for myself here today and watch the different points where. Okay, let's see if I just follow the system. All right, three fifty. Let me guess. I don't take that one either. See what happens here at the final. If it goes insane, we just stick right here. Just uh. Do not take that one either. Golden ropes. I hear sellers all over it. I think I do. There we go. So I take that red enigma. No, I didn't take that one. Which one do I take? I know I take something in here where I get some back. I get about 3,000 back. Okay, so the second one. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. After we we fail up, we get the break of that one. Remember, I try to skip the first one. I get on the second one. That's fine. But I mean, we're, we're too far behind in the count to, for it to matter now. Um, good play. Nothing wrong with this one. I like it up top. We've got a double red enigma on the uh, on the top side up here. Bots are taking that one. I'm taking that one. Sure, no no concerns there. We got a red dot up top as well. Again, great place here. We've got multiple AOs behind us. Nothing wrong with this. Even if we had towed in the water right here and then added to by this added to position right here would have been great. Let's ride it. All the way down to the crab. See the crab target down there? I did at least. My, my senses started to come in. Easy play here. So it's like, oh, yay, Vinny, you got the easy one. Well, you know, my 10-year-old could have gotten that. 
easy. Right, back of the crab, closing it out, and I'm under my max loss. Max loss for me, 15k on the day. All right. That was rough. I'm not for right to rent test the rest of the driver, you know what I'm saying? They're going to take it back 